Hello and welcome back. After a short break, I'm back and I'd like to show you uh, what is coming. And if you think, yeah, I know these videos because half of the things you haven't showed us yet from your other what's coming video, that is true, but it will still be coming. Depends a little bit on my mood. So let's have a look what is coming. So let's just stop from the top of the stack. This is something that was sent by iTech and it is a precision programmable laboratory power supply. It's like a seven and a half kilos. Has a little bit of a kidly look. So I have high expectations about this device. And then some cool burrows from uh, the Ailes shop. I have these already for a while, so I really need to start to make videos about this. It's the it's Archiloscope, uh, 14 bits is the newer series, so much higher resolution. And I think I found two models that will be great to see side by side, and that's the STS A24X HD. I got the DHO924. Would be great to see them together, both 14 bits. If you are a fan of Tektronics, you might want to have a look because I found some things I didn't even see before. It is a, a Tektronic Pathfinder. It just uh, came onto my path and uh, I made it offer and I got it. It was uh, pretty cool. And I have, and it's very rare. I did see it, by the way, on the EEV block. And this one of the first handheld oscilloscope here from Tektronix. And this is the TC201, but I think it is also from also from Createc I found. Pretty cool. And frequency counters. I love frequency counters. So I found another one. It was quite cheap. It's from the UK, so I did pay some shipping, but that's why I bought three Triffens one and let me show you which one. This is the 1990 and I already, I think I showed the 99, the 98, 96. So this was nice to add to the collection as well. They are all uh, untested. That's why it was a very nice price. Here also one, I'm not sure. I think it is Nixie, pretty cool. And it is from uh, General Radio. Yeah, I didn't find much documentation on this one. So maybe you can help me with that. Pretty cool. Nix is always nice. And for the Fluke fans, it also came with... Ta -da! This is the Fluke 1952. Also, I find some antenna analyzers that I worked with 30 years ago when I worked in the wireless uh, telecom. Because nowadays you just have this uh, or a nano VNA or you have this uh, proper rig experts and you see a lot. But back in the days, 30 years ago, you had these from program and this was the best of the best in that time. And uh, you can tune your antenna, you, tune, you see the frequency here, the SWR here, and then you set to the frequency, and then you look at the meter, it needs to be as low as possible, and then, you know, if you need to cut or glue something to your antenna, well, gluing, of course, means you need to start all over cutting your antenna, but pretty cool. These you see more often, 400 up to 1,000. These are a little bit more rare, the lower frequencies pretty nice I found these they are uh, not working so we have to find out but the Procon company by the way I sent an email they immediately sent me all the schematics everything so I was really surprised about that good guys and then I have some news from China not everyone is a fan of it but uh, I think it's nice to show all the new uh, developments Fnerzy now also has a new pen solder iron and to follow up on the Soji, we have also from Fnirsi the tweezer. The LCR tweezer is very popular. I think it really will be a fight between these two, the Soji and the Fnirsi. 
because uh, uh, Soji already did an update to also have ex data export that this one had by default. I think that will be a fight. So usually uh, the users benefit from that new firmwares and better devices. And the company I've been working with for, I think, one or two years is the Xstar. They have uh, very nice batteries and chargers. And I'm getting more and more a fan about this. This is the visual mixer. You can see your capacity. It can even regenerate your batteries. And uh, I tested the batteries for over a year now. And well, I made the whole list of all the capacities, how much is left after a year using them. So that's very interesting to see for durability. And another frequency counter, because you can never have enough frequency counters. This time it's from the US and I didn't know the brand yet. So I just wanted to see also to see how it's built. And uh, yeah, maybe it's still working or not at all. So I don't know. It's a Sistron Donner 6530. And this is also a pain to find documentation about it. So hopefully one of you can help me with that also. And if not, we're just going to play with it, open it and have a look how it is built. And another item that I didn't do, and I'm really sorry about that red. That is something from Red Engineering. It uh, sent this to me. And it is a two-way repeater for uh, for the little bow thing. So imagine if you need to uh, cover a big difference that is too far uh, point to point, then you put this device in the middle with a little portable radio and it will repeat every time that you say. So it's not a full duplex, but it is just uh, like a voice relay. And uh, I think it's very smart, very simple, very portable. And uh, I really like to see how that works. And I have a little device. I already have it for two years and I, I didn't really find a use for it yet because apparently I'm not that a, of an advanced user of the multimeter because this is like this shorting bridge. You can use that for calibration of your uh, multimeter. And this is uh, clearly a cheap uh, Chinese one, but I found also one on eBay and I have this already for two years. And yeah, I'm a bit ashamed that I didn't show you yet because this one was made with so much care with a 3D printer with gold plated plugs, I think. And it's from a very uh, friendly guy. I think he was named Karasimir. And he even sent me a Philips Multimeter to show on video and maybe do a repair. Uh, yeah, but I didn't show it yet. So I'm really sorry about that. But look at that with how much care this is done. So I think that will keep us going for another few months and especially when I need to catch up with all my other videos that I still didn't show about what is coming. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching and hope to see you next time.